Hi, it's Steve from Part Select. Today we're going to show you how to change the evaporator fan motor on your refrigerator, and it's a really easy job. All we're going to need is a quarter inch nut driver, a small flat blade screwdriver, and maybe a pair of Neen Lowe's pliers. Let me show you how we do it. Now before we begin this repair, the first thing we'll need to do is to disconnect the power. So pull the refrigerator out far enough to pull the plug. And we're then going to open the freezer door and remove any of the items that are in the freezer, including on the shelf. We'll next remove the shelf. So just lift it up slightly on the left side and then push the shelf all the way to the left, tilt it up on the right, and remove it. Now, if your model has an ice maker in it, we'll need to remove that as well. Simply loosen the two screws at the top of the holder for the ice maker, lift it away, and disconnect the wire harness, and set it aside. If your model does not have an ice maker, we'll still need to remove the cover for the wire harness connector. So remove the quarter inch hex head screw, and then just depress the tabs at the top of that cover, and pull that away enough to expose the harness. And then with a flat blade, just release those little locking tabs Set the cover aside. Then next, remove the two quarter inch hex head screws that are opposite the cover for the fan. We can now tilt that evaporator cover forward while lifting up on it at the same time. Once we've exposed the back of it, we can disconnect the ground wire from the opening for the ice maker harness. And then we'll lift that whole assembly out and set it aside. We now have access to the fan motor bracket. So we're going to remove two quarter inch hex head screws and lift that whole assembly down. We'll also disconnect the wire harness to the fan motor. And just root the wire harness out of the holders on that motor bracket. And flip it over, we'll locate the ground wire that attaches to the motor. Simply pull that off the terminal. And then you can remove the whole assembly. I'm gonna take our needle nose pliers. I'm just gonna reach in here, I wanna pry up on that evaporator fan blade, pry it off the shaft. Then we'll completely remove those quarter inch hex head screws. And then we can depress these two locking tabs for that rear motor bracket. Just depress them and push the bracket out through the back. Do the same on the opposite side. And we'll set that bracket aside. Remove the rear bushing. Remove the rubber bushing from the rear of the motor. Pull the motor away from the bracket. Remove the front bushing. Discard the old motor. Reinstall the bushing on the new motor. We'll now install the motor in the front portion of the bracket. We need to make sure that that rubber mount sits flush. Next, install the bushing on the rear of the motor. and then the rear motor mount. Just line up the tabs, snap them into place. And again, make sure that that rubber bushing fits snugly into the opening and it lines up properly. And 
and we can now mount that whole assembly back on the freezer wall. So our next step will be to reinstall that ground wire. Make sure it fits snugly on the terminal. And we'll tuck that whole assembly up into position. And just make sure that we have those wire harnesses set down into the channel across the top of that motor bracket. Then reinstall the quarter inch hex head screws. Reinstall the evaporator fan blade. Push it firmly onto that shaft until it bottoms out. And make sure that fan blade clears the motor housing. And we're now ready to reinstall the evaporator cover. Now when reinstalling the evaporator cover, I'm gonna tuck that right hand side in first behind the light shield first. And we'll reach in over top, and grab that ground wire, and we're gonna clip that on a tab at the top of that rectangular opening. Make sure that's attached firmly. And then we'll take the harness connector for the ice maker, and we're going to push that out through that rectangular opening. And just hold on to that while we put the cover back in place. So insert the bottom of the fan housing down into the floor of the freezer and then tilt the assembly back. We'll next install the two screws on either side of that fan opening. Now if you're a model head and ice maker, we would simply connect that harness to the ice maker harness. If your model doesn't have the ice maker installed. We're going to put this cover back in place. But first we'll put that wire harness connector into that slotted opening. Press it in far enough so that the little locking tabs will hold it in place. Push that back into the opening and re-engage all three tabs, one in the bottom and two on the top. You may need the flat blade screwdriver to engage that bottom one. Install the retaining screw. And now we can put the shelf back in place. Insert the left hand side first. And lift it until we find the deepest portion so that it'll go fully to the left. Lower it down and then set it in position. We're now ready to reconnect the power and our repair is complete. I told you it was an easy job. Thanks for watching and good luck with your repair.